Hello everybody, it's JP. It is Saturday, uh, June 12th. It's about uh, 4.30 in the evening. Uh, we're looking at a hive right now that's in a little soffit section. And obviously they're running out of room because they're boiling out. I looked at this colony about a month and a half ago and uh, this is a rental property, it's a duplex. And it's changed hands in the last month and a half previous people decided to let the new people deal with the bee situation. So let's call it back in and you can see this thing is really grown as they're just busting out at the seams. Alright, I dropped that little uh, sofa section down and uh, here's a hive. Okay, so as you can see there got some weird stuff going on at the very end here. They made some beautiful nice wide comb sections that should fit pretty nicely in my deep frames uh, and then on the end here they started uh, making these little teardrop pieces right here uh, one two three four five six about seven of them so I don't know what was going on there but anyway and as you can see they were running out of room you see them on the outside here and this is not enough room for them to all the squeeze in. It's hot, y'all. It's got to be mid mid 90s, uh, if not even higher than that. So I know I'm sweating. Pretty good here. Now these comb sections here look like they fell. They probably were a little top heavy. Maybe they had some honey in there, and uh, they just heated up and just fell. New combs would do that, and uh, bees just reattached them right to this uh, soffit piece. Right. I think we're going to get the bee back and get some of the bees out of the way. There's just too many dang bees. We're going to do that now. Just talking to the next door neighbor, and uh, he said yesterday in this bush right here, there was a big clump of bees. And look what we're looking at here, folks. Let me show you. We got an open queen cell here. We got an open one here. Form. And so there's a lot of uh, backfilling of the brood chamber. And classic case of a uh, hive that was honey bad. Uh, so I, I, I see some cat brood, but it uh, looks like at this point most of the cells around any cat brood are filled with honey. So we may find a virgin queen here, uh, hoping we get a queen. Uh, if not, maybe we'll, maybe we'll get another queen cell. That's uh, this cap with a viable queen in it. But um, I may, I'm going to try to remove this next piece. Uh, that last one kind of fell apart on me a little bit. You couldn't see it on camera. But, uh, you know, this colony hadn't been here but maybe a couple of months. And uh, so we have a you know, new comb. It's hot as heck out of here. <coughs> and uh, you know, they're heavy you know, with, with honey. So uh, I may want to be able to cut these in half. Them out. So, inevitably, I may have to treat them like a swamp because these cones might just be uh, unworkable. It's, uh, I don't know, probably about 7.30 now, and I'm on the same removal. The bees in the soffit, uh, this is not a textbook removal by any means. There are a couple of issues going on with this colony. They've, they swarmed more than likely yesterday, 
Um, evidence by the neighbor telling me he saw a big cluster on one bush. I found open clean cells and they backfilled the uh, the brood chamber. The combs were uh, honey laden, heavy, and it's relatively new quality, so the combs were falling apart in my hands. Uh, kind of messy, so I was able to transfer some comb. What I'm going to do is leave these bees, let them, you know, clean up any honey that was spilled, and it's a little bit sticky right now, and let them regroup, and I'll come back when they've had a chance to uh, ingest some of that honey, clean themselves up, and uh, basically I'll, I'll come in here and, and I'll you know, hopefully uh, get a queen, and uh, in essence, we would be like removing a swarm. All right, folks, it's the next evening, about the same time uh, that I started this job yesterday evening. So it's around 4.30 on a Sunday uh, evening. And as you can see, we have a good bit of bees in the, uh, the hive set up that I left behind, and not a whole bunch in the void space. Although we do have a little cluster over here, I'm noticing. A little cluster of bees right there. There could be a queen in there, or there could be one in the box. So. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this box down and go ahead and give it a check to see if we can uh, find a queen in there. That'd be nice. Alright, so we've sprayed the uh, void space where the bees were with some bee quick, okay? Still had some stragglers. Decent bit, actually. Maybe, uh, I don't know, 400 bees or so. Maybe even a little more than that. I did have brood comb that we went ahead and transferred yesterday and I did a vacuum some bees yesterday in the and we shook them from the inner box and uh, those were all still in the box covering brood and uh, as you can see now these bees are really oriented to the box we do have some queen cells in there that are capped keep an eye on them and see what happens and uh, you know, at the very least we can do a combine or if I happen to catch a small swarm I can go ahead and uh, unite that swarm with with this uh, hive right here, but uh, either way, every, everybody's out of there, and there's they're, uh, they've cleaned up the honey, and so they're not a big st sticky mess today. Which, and that's one of the main reasons I, I left them. I could have vacuumed some of those stragglers yesterday evening, but uh, chance of those, uh, those uh, regurgitating honey that were cleaned up were high, and they they probably paired well in the uh, in the inner box. So. Anyway, uh, this is what we got right now, and I'll be back again uh, tonight to uh, go ahead and seal them up. Another video brought to you by JP the B-Man. Y'all have a good day.